Assalamu alaikum viewers. How for best of your health and iman. Today's topic is anabina. Today we are going to discuss what is anabina, its uh, taxonomic position, its occurrence, and some of its general characteristics, cells or structure, and all of these. Uh, here is the taxonomic position of the uh, anabina, which is you know kingdom bacteria, phylum cyanobacteria, class cyanophyce, order nosticales, family nostricaceae, and you know uh, the family nostricaceae and genus anabina. So this is the uh, taxonomic class of anabina so, uh, next is the occurrence of the anabina occurrence is a filamentous blue green algae because it exists in the form of a filament so this is a occurrence of the filamentous blue green algae planktonic species or they means coatings uh, uh, planktonic species means they can uh, you know fl floating over the surface of the water so this that's why it is known as the planktonic species coating on the other aquatic vegetation means that they can uh, cover the uh, you know other vegetation and form a coating or the network over them to cover them and in this way they can also exist endophytic means they can live inside the body of other organisms other plants or some of the other uh, you know uh, uh, other plants other organism and uh, how do they can uh, occur is like cavities of the leaves of the uh, azola so they can live in the cavities of the leaves of the azola and the roots of the cycads water blooms is the most important and the big occurrence point of the anabina that uh, water blooms to have anabina and anabina form the water blooms and which is a big big characteristic and also is not that much good for the water bodies it can also uh, occur in the fresh water as well as in the salt water hydrosis and the kinase are the occurrence of this anabina because hydrosis are those cells which are a little bit enlarged cells present in the filamentous form of the anabina and uh, you know echinites is the same but they have a little bit different characteristics from the addresses we're going to discuss in detail in other uh, you know uh, former slides plant body plant, uh, plant body is the thallus is unbranched uh, is not have any branching it's just filamentous and is a cell join end to end to each other so in this way they are joined to e one uh, one cell to the each other end to end and filamentous colony is known as the trichome is that type of the colony you know is uh, that type of the colony in which filaments are the form cell join one cell to the other cell in this way they form the colony but they are in the form of filaments that's why they are known as trichome movement of the water uh, you know is uh, anabina movement of the anabina is to the ter uh, waving of the terminal portion so the terminal portions of the anabina they get uh, you know they form uh, waving little bit waving on the movement and in this way they can move the uh, whole organism or the anabina from one, uh, one place to the other trichome to form the hydrocyst and the kinase means trichomes are those because we are studying the plant body so they have the trichomes which are the filamentous cells and they do have the hydrocyst and a kinase as their occurrence at the type of the cell uh, next is the uh, cell structure cell structure of the anabina is the prokaryotic cell so if they are prokaryotic cell they do not have any membrane bound organelles nucleus you know these materials so they do not have these materials and the cell wall is made up of the peptide amino acid peptides they do not uh, they are not made up of uh, cellulose chloroplast which is the you know is uh, there uh, there is no uh, plastids so they have just chlor chromoplast which is uh, uh, you know uh, is uh, like pigments which are the present in the cytoplasm in the form of the flattened sacs and thylakides are present they have the pigments but the phycobilis or the other outer surface of the uh, you know but they do not have the uh, like a sac uh, uh, one over the other and forming the grana so this arrangement is absent in the thylakide carbohydrates granules in the cytoplasm are those granules which are present in the cytoplasm and they are known as cyanophycine granules or the present in the cyanophycine uh, you know is a uh, cyanophycine starch or it is known as uh, you know Cyanophycin granules because carbohydrates are granules they form the starch and the starch is form, present in the form of the cyanophycin granules or in the cyanophycin granules central body which you, you, you do know you know that the uh, central body which is a uh, you know nucleus or the nuclear material so this is uh, central body does not have any uh, you know uh, nucleus or the nuclear membrane no nucleolus and uh, network like this just the nuclear material is present in the central body cell Next is the uh, pseudo vacuoles or the gas vacuoles. Pseudo vacuoles or the gas vacuoles are, uh, you know, they are those uh, um, uh, uh, gas vacuoles or the pseudo vacuoles are those vacuoles which are the uh, present in the uh, uh, anabina in the form of the you know vacuole or the uh, uh, provide the buoyancy to the movement so they can cover, uh, come on the surface of the water wherever whenever they want to come to the surface of the water. It also reduces the intensity of the light to reach the thylakides, which is most important and the helpful characteristics for the anabina for the presence of pseudo vacuoles or the gas. So, like pseudo means as you know is false so they are not the true vacuoles uh, then he is the heterocyst. Heterocyst, as I have discussed, that heterocysts are the large cells. Transparency of the contents. There is uh, there is transparent contents, and they have three layered thick cell wall. And thylakides are all reorganized, and these uh, reorganized thylakides are now known as the polar nodules. And the mature heterocyst, uh, in mature heterocysts, these pores get full. Now they are no more, uh, you know, uh, transparent. And the one more characteristic is that 
the uh, you know polar uh, nodules they help the thylak had, had to cyst to join one and other in this way join to each other uh, they provide the nitrogen combination they because uh, had to cyst have the nitrogen fixation so they can transfer the uh, nitrogen from combined nitrogen from had to cyst one one cell to the other cell kinase to the had to cyst and in this way the polar nodules help for the combination of the cytoplasmic interactions or the cytoplasmic connections between the cells uh, nitrogen fixation is the most important characteristic of the had to cyst so, you know they have the nitrogen fixation uh, fixing ability so in this way they fix the nitrogen and uh, you know this nitrogen is transfer from one cell to the other and uh, uh, you know the heterocyst uh, they may be converted to the echinates which are you know their resisting spores or the resting spores which have the cellophysin granules and uh, in this way or they may be converted to the reproductive cells so if the heterocyst uh, converted to the reproductive cells then they uh, break it down from the filaments and give rise to the other uh, organism and echinates in the cellophysin granules it grows from uh, because echinates have the cellophysin granules it is resistant to the antibiotic uh, uh, it is resistant to the unfavorable conditions and it is next stage to the heterocyst and echinates do not have the thyroid thylakids real organized uh, thylakids are present it's original form so this is the, uh, these are all the characteristics of the uh, you know anabina so in, uh, in the next lecture we're going to discuss uh, what are the uh, reproduction and the economic importance of the anabina i hope it will be helpful for you thank you so much for coming on my channel don't forget to like share subscribe and comment make sure to follow me on instagram bye bye allah hafiz